Seattle, I guess that's awesome cuisine. Yep. Then Friday, today, we just wake up. Um, we yeah. slept in, too. We, yeah. And we still got a lot done. Yeah, we slept in. 9, 9, 30, whatever. Yeah. Um, we had nothing planned. We had all day to do whatever we wanted, so. Um, you can, I guess, talk about, well, Sean's changing lanes. So we start off the day, went to Pike's Market, that's what it's called, right? Pike's Market. Pike's Market. Yep. Went straight for the donut stand, that's awesome. So good. They make little, little tiny donuts. Yeah. Like, it's like a burst of happiness. Yeah, they just have a little machine that they just fill up with batter, it cranks out little donut size batter drops into hot oil, it, it rolls for a couple minutes, and then it pops out and just like freshly fried dough, and it's just, oh god. They, nice they, hippies running in the place. Too. Yeah, really cool hippie people. Yeah. All tattooed, pierced up. Yeah. And, then we watched the fish get thrown. Yeah, then we went to the, uh, whatever that awesome seafood, I don't know what call it. Yeah, the fish mongers. Fish mongers, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, we saw them throw some fish, and they all yelled, and, uh, Salt Guy Salmon! Salt Guy Salmon! <laughs> you know, and, uh, it was really cool. Traditional Pike Market stuff. Yeah. Saw the original Starbucks. Yep, with all... the inappropriate sign that they eventually oh, yeah. had to cover up. That's right, they have the weird mermaid with tits. I don't know what that's all about. The original Starbucks sign. Yeah, it is a mermaid. Yeah, 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 yeah it's, it's a mermaid. Interesting. And then, uh, let's see. We got, oh, we got two things for lunch. Mm -hmm. uh, we got the, oh, we walked lunch. through the market. So we saw the market. Yeah. And then uh, the first thing we got was at a French bakery. Yep. Uh, and we got a ham and cheese sandwich, no, which was roast, awesome. Roast, 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 oh, yeah, we got, we they tried to have get, ham and We cheese. tried to get the ham and cheese. Yeah. Bread was incredible. Yeah. Nice, crusty bread. And yeah. Really good. And we got a show. Tell them about the show on the street. Oh, my God. This guy was uh, a man of many talents. He, you know, he first starts playing guitar, and like, wait a second, he's playing the guitar, he's like, hula-hoop around him, it's kind of strange. And then he has also has a harmonica in his mouth, and then he starts playing the guitar behind his head. While, while playing, hula-hooping. While hula-hooping his whole time, and playing the harmonica. And then he, like, balances the guitar on his chin while playing the harmonica, while hula-hooping. Then he gets two hula-hoops, two guitars, like playing a guitar behind his head, one guitar on his chin, he's playing the harmonica, he's hula hooping too, it was just nuts. It was crazy. He was just like a one man show. It was he, awesome. He should have been on what, what, what? America's Got Talent. If he was on America's Got Talent, he would have taken They went through Seattle. Yeah, I don't know. He must have missed the show. Yeah. He would be in Vegas right now just doing take, something. Yeah, taking the city by surprise. Yeah. Um, so that was cool. Lots of cool street performers, lots of just yeah. amazing everything. And then we got the Prosecchi. Yeah, uh, it's like a Russian, uh, uh, pastry, Russian pastry, savory pastries. It was really good. Yeah, I can't remember exactly what they were called, but something like that. Precious. Yeah, I don't know yeah. what they're called. But uh, this Russian bakery that was awesome, and Anthony Bourdain had been there. So, yeah, so it had to be good. Yeah, we decided to go there before we saw Anthony Bourdain, but yeah, that kind of made us feel comforted. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we had a nice long walk nice to long the walk. Uh, Space Needle. That's right. Oh, man, this is a great, great view, and it was a clear day. Yeah, too. we got some awesome pictures. Me and Victor got a nice free picture of ourselves. Oh, yeah, free picture, too. Looking pretty uh, pretty badass. Yeah, from the Space Needle. Yeah. You guys will see that. Yeah. Um, one, of the, one of the highlights of the day after the Space Needle, beautiful, we can't say enough about this, is they had the science fiction music... The uh, experience, experience music, music project. It was the EMP. EPC? EPC? Was it EPC? I think it was yeah. the EMP. Experience oh, music. EMP was the EMP. Oh man, I don't whatever. know. It must have been. Yeah, whatever. But it was a museum that had like you interact with. It was music and science fiction, and there's a lot of like you get to play your own music and they teach you music and it was awesome. music history about you know of course Nirvana from, yeah. from uh, Washington. And, our project. favorite was the playing the instruments. Our favorite. We spent a good hour or more in this yeah. one level of the we museum. We were jamming. Uh, yeah, you just get to Those play Those videos music. will be posted as well. Yeah. We had, we had, they have nice soundproof rooms, so you're like in a studio. Yeah. You just wait your turn, and you just go in a room, you and a buddy, or just you, and Rock just out. start rocking out for like, yeah, I mean, as long as you want, essentially. And yeah. It was so much fun. That was awesome. That was awesome. Yeah, we spent Best a long 12 time. bucks. Yeah, it was just $12 for this museum, and it was just yeah. kick ass time. Yeah, and then uh, 
walk back, had some gelato. Gelato. Always gotta have gelato. Yep. And then uh, we made it to the Mariners game. The Mariners game. Safeco Field is super nice. Really cool. They got the retractable roof, which they opened. They're like, oh, the weather <laughs> looks clear. It's fine. So, you know, give a hurrah, Mariners fans. Uh, look, they say, you know, it's opening. And then, like, 20 minutes later, it's like, oh, we gotta close it. It starts raining really hard. Really hard. Uh, but it was a great game. Yeah, it was a really good game. Uh, the Marlins. Mariners won. Oh, yeah. Let's not forget, it was at... It was a Marlins home game. The Marlins home game in, in Seattle. Seattle. Yeah, yeah. I guess... Interleague I, play. Yeah. And it was... Yeah. Somehow it was the Marlins home game, but yeah. we were at the Mariners Safeco home field. Yeah. I don't know how that works. Yeah. But, yeah, the Mar the Marlins went up 1-0, I think, in, like, the second or the third. Yep. And then we went up 3-1, uh, I think, in the fifth or something. Yeah. And then in the... 5-1. Eighth, we... Uh, Pulled away. Go... Olivo. Oh, Olivo. Olivo. He took it. He got a two-run homer. Cracked it. Cracked it. Next to his fan section. Yeah, we were cheering for him. He was having a, a bout with the pitcher, like, ten hits or something. He just kept fouling, fouling, and then he cracked a two-run homer. It was awesome. It's good stuff. And, yeah, that was the game. And Seattle treated us very, very well. Yeah, so far, that yeah. the Seattle's been just the best part of the trip. I mean, yeah. I, I would I would move to Seattle. Yep. You should move to Seattle. Yes. All of our fans. Yes. Are, are really fans Thank you to the, the Wilson brothers as well for getting us the tickets. And yes. This too. Thank you, Wilson brothers. For yeah. me, Victor, and Sean. No. Um, so, yeah, we left the game, and now we're, it's 11.30. We're on our way. We're almost at Vancouver. We're at the border just about now. Um. Yeah, that's a wrap, I guess. That's it. Till next time. Till next time.